Okay, so A Million Years Ago by Adele. This one, we have the capo on the second fret, and we're gonna be in B minor. But because of that capo, we're actually in C sharp minor. And if you've seen that morning show uh, performance she did a while ago, you'll see that the guitarist there doesn't have a capo, and he's just playing it in C sharp minor. Um, so he's playing a, a lot different than how it was played on the record. And, you know, at that level, they have, you know, studio guys who record, and they have tour guys, and they always play things different live, right? So there's a couple of bar chords in this one, so if you're a beginner, you know, uh, <laughs> you're going to hate these chords, but the thing is, you have to, at some point, you know, if you're going to play music, you're going to have to... Um, learn bar chords. Anyways, so we've got a B minor here, right? And then we've got an A. Okay, and the way we do that A is we just bar across, and we're not playing that high E string, so we're just playing the, the uh, middle four strings. And then we've got this chord, which is E3 and D2, and that's like an E minor over a G bass. And again, we're, we're playing the bottom note with our thumb and the D, G, and B strings. And then we've got this chord, which is an F sharp minor seventh. Okay, and the way I do that, there's a whole bunch of ways you can do this. You know, probably most people are used to seeing it played that way, and that's fine. You can play it that way. Another way of playing it is this way, where you just bar across with that third finger but if you know you've only been playing a little while you probably can't get your finger to do that because that's you know getting it to bend at that I don't know if you can see that but you know bending at that first joint it takes a while of playing before your finger does that so I do it that way most of the time even though I can't do it that way that way is is, is a good way to do it that's like the intro chords right in fact, the intro chord, the very first one, is a B minor 7. So we don't have G4 there, it's just G2, right? And in fact, we're not even playing that, uh, that string at that point, okay? But that B minor 7 does come in later as well, okay? So, you know, your B minor with your little finger on there, and your B minor 7 with your little finger off. And then as the verse goes, um, in this song, the verse and the chorus are exactly the same thing, okay? So once you learn a verse, you've got the chorus too. And what that is, is we've got an E minor 7, and, you know, mostly, if you're going to strum that chord, you're going to go A2, right? But because we're finger-picking, we're not even playing that A string there, so... Right? We're going to do it that way, but that's your E minor 7. And then we've got an A7, and, you know, it's not an A, it's an A7, okay? So D2 and B2, that open G to give her a seventh. And then we've got this, which is a bar on G, B, and E on the second fret, which is your um, D major seven. And then it's gonna be a, that chord, which is such a beautiful chord, right? That's like a, a G chord. You know, we don't need that because we're not gonna play it. So. The G on uh, the G note on E3, but we add this A note here on G2. It's like a G add nine, beautiful sounding chord. And then back to the minor seven, and then the F sharp seven. Now, you know F sharp minor seven there or there or there, but this is F sharp seven. So, you know, it's like an E7, if you're down here, and you're playing E7. That's what that is up there, right? But we're barring here. Okay, so F sharp 7, and then our B minor 7. And then later on, we're going to get in... But, you know, those are, those are chords, but they're more finger-picking patterns, right? So we'll get into that in a second, but... Okay, so the song starts out with this lick. And I think for a lot of people who play this, that'll be the hardest thing. Um, because there's, a, there's four chords really quick there. What it is, is it's A2, D4, 
in uh, B3. And we don't even play this note here, so you don't need to bar that. You can just put your first finger on A2, third finger on D4, and second finger on B3. And we're going to pluck those with our thumb on the A string, first finger on the D string, third finger, third finger on the B string, right? So that's three notes, right? Next chord is going to be an A, so we're just going to bar here. So we're going to go from here, pluck the exact same strings with our right hand but just do that A chord. Next chord is going to be this chord here, which is that E minor over G. And it's really important to get that, to have that note in there. So I think a lot of people are going to want to go, you know, playing that open D there. But it's not, it's fretted on the second fret of the D string. And then the next chord is going to be this chord here, which is the um, F sharp minor 7. And like I said, I like to do it that way. Okay, third finger on D2, uh, little finger on G2, and second finger on E2. And what's nice about doing it that way is we can have that B string ringing, right? As we hit that F sharp minor seven. And then when we hit that B minor at the end, we're gonna play uh, the A string with our thumb. And D, G, and B strings with our first, second, and third finger. Okay, so that's your intro lick. Now, there is a different way you can do that intro section. And what you can do is, because I think a lot of people who are just starting out maybe are gonna find that really hard to do. It'll be the hardest part of the song other than the bar chords, right? But there's a different way you can do it uh, that sounds close and it's a lot easier. And it's like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm doing these two note chords. So the first one is A2, B3, and you just pick that with your thumb on the, on the bass and you know your first or your second finger on the B string. So the first one would be there, and next one would be open A and B2, so we got, and then open B and G or E3, the G note, okay, so we've got, and then we're going to go down one fret with that middle finger and put our third finger on G2. And then just play that B minor. Remember we play all four middle strings there. So instead of we've got you know it's close. You're not going to get that in there that note, which is kind of key to that sound. But it gives you the same idea and it's a lot easier to play. Okay, so you can use either one of those, you know, whichever one suits you better. All right? Okay, now we're going to get into the picking, and the first score is going to be that E minor 7, and we don't need that there because we're not going to play it. So, And the picking is going to go like this. Okay, so that's E string, G string with our first finger, D string with the thumb, and B string with the second finger. And then we add this. So the whole thing. And that pattern repeats throughout the song. So our first chord is that E minor 7. Then we go to an A7 and do the exact same picking. Now we go to a D major 7 and we just move our picking down one string. Right? So we start thumb on the D string. Now we go to the G add 9 and we, you know, move our picking back a string. 
then we go back down to E minor 7. Now we're going to come up to this F sharp 7 and do the exact same picking, right? And now we're going to go to the B minor 7 and we're going to do this. So that picking is the same, just with our thumb on the A string now. And then we're going to go like this. So that's just the, the A string, uh, G string, B string, and then put our little finger up here on uh, B4 and do the same picking. And that's the complete cycle. So I'll play that one time slowly. A7, D major 7. G add 9, E minor 7, F sharp 7, B minor 7. And then the cycle starts again, all right? Okay, so that's the first thing you need to learn now. There's a couple of things in there. When we go from this F sharp 7, There's a tendency to make noise when you make that change. You know, that change is a tough change, so... We need to kind of, you know, take our fingers off the strings there. And quickly get to that B minor 7. Without making too much noise, okay? So that'll be a tricky transition for a lot of people. And the other thing is when we go up there, here, a lot of people are going to want to take off that middle finger and put the little finger there. And you can do that, it won't make any difference, but it's a lot easier if you just keep it there, right? Just add your little finger and keep that finger there, it'll, uh, you know, try it, you'll see what I mean, it'll just feel more stable there. Okay, and then it repeats. And then coming out of that F sharp seven, we're gonna come into this new section. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fret the B note on A2. We're gonna go G2 with our second finger, right? Third finger up on B3. And what that is, is it's this. It's the B minor 7, but it's just fretted a different way. And fretting it this way and playing this, this next bit here is going to be really awkward, okay? And it won't sound good. It'll be really jerky. So do it this way with this fingering. Like a lot of times when I'm giving lessons, I'll just say, you know, use whatever fingers you want. But in this section, you pretty well need to do it this way for it to be smooth, okay? And what we're going to do here is I'll just play it one time. So what we've got there is just that rhythm, right? Right? That's on that chord. And then we go to this A chord and we go. And then we go to the G add nine, but we want to fret that with our third finger on E3 and our second finger on G2. And now we come back to this and the transition from there to there is really easy because we don't even have to move that middle finger right that, that just stays there and we just put our first finger on a2 and put our third finger back on b3 nice about fingering it that way is we can let that that B string ring right like here right so we get a really smooth change like if you try to do that up here
know, you've got to go from there to here, and it's a very awkward chain, so definitely fret your B minor 7 this way in that section. Okay, one last time through that. finish this section off we're going to go to the F sharp 7 okay and again from that fingering to the F sharp 7 is a really nice transfer um, real nice transition because the, again the middle finger just slides up a fret and we just bar and put our third finger on uh, A4 so we go from here and what we do there is um, just play it through once So we're going to hit um, the E string and then the D string with our thumb and we're going to hit the G string and B string with our first and second fingers on the right hand, right? Right? We do that a couple of times. And then we're back in... That would actually now be the chorus okay so yeah that's pretty well it for the song there's other guitars that come in there's a guitar that starts strumming you know at some point and then there again you know if you have trouble finger picking you could just strum the whole song it, you know and just sing it it'd be fun And then there's another guitar comes in just doing single notes, you know, just adding in here and there. And then, of course, coming out of that, uh, you know, the last bit of the chorus, when she says a million years ago, we're, we're back to that intro lick, right? And that's how the song ends. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoy playing the song. I hope you get something out of the lesson. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next time.